5 to 8 hertz frequency has been determined to be nearly the precise center of the entire electromagnetic color spectrum. There's only one number, only one number in the entire numbering system, whereby the electromagnetic color spectrum is the same as the sound system. That one number is 5 to 8. Both the same in color and sound. 5 to 8 hertz frequency. A miraculous key that open doors that no man can close and close doors that no man can open. 528, it will change your life in the most beneficial way. And now we have substantive evidence, massive amounts of evidence that that is what 528 is. Ultimately, what has happened with this planet is that we are in dissonance to another note, another frequency. It turned out that when we discovered the original musical scale, there was not just six, but a total of nine core creative frequencies to the universe. That is, everything in the universe is made from nine notes, only nine. And that the first six are the sofeggio, and then there's three additional ones that form a perfect circle of sound. And that perfect circle of sound looks something like this. If you graph it. So the first six notes, 396, 417, 528, 639, 741, 852, was the original solfeggio scale. The 528 that you can see on my left in green is the color green. It's the heart of the rainbow. That's the miracle note from the original solfeggio note, from the original solfeggio scale. And the other note that you see, 741, which is part of nature is called the devil's interval in musicology that when you play 741 with 528 it creates such an annoying and dissonant energy diseasing stressful that if you continue to listen to it you could die and so that the concept here is interesting in the world today, we have people who are controlling virtually everything economically, geopolitically. Their agenda has been population manipulation, population control for millennia. They have held the secret knowledge, the ancient music, by which the pyramids were constructed based on the math. All of the universe is constructed according to these nine tones. They knew about them. In fact, they instituted, in fact, it was the Rockefeller Foundation in 1939 that instituted the world's standard tuning. The Western world tunes to A440 Hertz frequency. That when you tune your instrument to that, the F sharp note is 741. Precisely. The a440 is what now is the standard tuning. If you go A439, you're closer to one of the creator's tones. If you go A441, you're closer to one of the creator's original tones. That's how precisely it has been manipulated. To do what? To shut down the 95% of your brain, particularly the right brain that operates the heart mind for the divine human community. Here is a metaphor so that you begin to understand what we're talking about. When you go driving your car and your channel on the radio is tuned to a station and you're grooving to the music, you love that music, as you get farther and farther away from the broadcasting tower, that music gets static. You start to lose the signal from the clear channel, broad class, and it gets staticky. When it gets staticky, you get a little annoyed. But you want to listen to it. You really have a heart for that music. So you continue to listen to it for another 10, 15 miles, and suddenly it becomes so annoying that you just get disgusted. You go, ah, and you shut it off. And if you continue to listen to it, you get sick. That's what we're talking about here, except 
You don't even know that you've been listening to the static your whole life. You don't even know what the true resonant frequency is because it has been kept from you. So in other words, the master composer, master conductor of the Universal Orchestra is singing love songs in 528, uplifting everything simultaneously. And we're the only species out of tune and accepting static for the clear child. Dr. Masaru Emoto, he goes up on stage and he has a, a triangular, you know, a musical triangle that he hits, you know, like in an orchestra. He's hitting it over here, he hits it, bing, and about 30 yards or 30 feet away is his interpreter standing here with the same exact a replica of that same size triangle. Frequency tuned the same frequency. And he tells his interpreter to put a microphone next to it. And suddenly this one starts to resonate. He hits that one over there. This one starts resonating. How much of your body is full of water? They used to say when I was at Harvard School of Public Health, the truth was back then about 86%, 85, 86% of your body, well hydrated, was water. Today they tell us it's only 75%. Hogwash, they've been dehydrating everybody with the poisons. 93% of the function of DNA is light and sound reception and transmission. Photon, phonon, reception, transmission for intercellular communication and cellular upregulation. You know what cellular upregulation means? It means precipitation. In the now, 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 every millisecond, instant second, you're re-manifesting right now in water. Water is the most energy conductive of all of the materials. It's a superconductor. Let me give you the fundamental, the rudimentary origin of the numbers. Here it is. The most important numbers, three sixes and nines. Again, Tesla said, Tesla, who created a Tesla coil. Tesla coils, energy amplifiers. Your DNA is an energy amplifier, a coil. Operating by the three sixes and nines, primarily. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, you've probably looked at engines or motors, magnets that have been wound with copper wire. When you do that, when you wind the copper, coil the copper around the magnet, it enhances the energy dramatically. That's what your DNA is. It's an antenna to the creator. Every single cell of your body has this energy capability. It has this divine intelligence. What does that mean? That means the first entities that you should be communing with in order to uplift yourself, sustain yourself, heal yourself, is the billions of cells in your body that have its own unique genetic intelligence, its own sacred spiral to the creator. And so this is the structure of the way that the universe operates, which does fabulous for us, our understanding of some of the most wonderful uh, pieces of information to may allow us to live a faithful life. A life according to the law, according to the matrix. Here is the simple way to analyze this. You've heard of what goes around, comes around. You've heard of, as you sow, so shall you reap. So this is explains it. Let's say that you're here and you are putting out negative thoughts, negative behaviors, negative actions, it's all energy. The neurology in your brain's powerful. 86% of you is God water. So now that's going out and it goes out and here's what happens. It goes out, it goes up and down. This is called the event horizon. You shoot down through the middle of the event horizon, which is the black hole, comes out and spins back around, ultimately comes right back. Bringing to you karma. Bringing to you divine judgment. 
It's all according to the mathematical matrix. It's certain, it doesn't lie, it's always consistent. There's nothing missing, nothing broken in it.